subscribe, please. Hey guys, welcome back to the Gimpy Gamer. Gimpy himself is here, and then of course the neighbor's dogs are gonna start barking as soon as we start this. It's like a conspiracy. Every time you start filming, a truck drives by, a dog barks. Or a plane flies or over. Or a plane flies over. Anyway, welcome back. Um, this is one of the last that you're probably gonna see from us for a little bit, but I'm no, excited about- this is about, the last. This is the last, okay. This so, is only happening because it's squeezed in right there. Yeah, the this minute. came in, what, today? Yesterday. Uh, yesterday. This arrived yesterday. Today we are packing up the last of the games to be moved because we're moving in literally a week. So this is the last video you're gonna see for a little bit till we get settled at the new house. Again, check out the Facebook Gimpy's, uh, Gimpy's Gal Facebook page and Instagram for details and stuff. But this is more of a games for you and her. Um, we don't do a lot of these, or we've done some in the past, but we want to do them more regularly once we get settled because I personally love them and we'll have more time and more space. But this one is really cool. It's a very quick game. Like we've already played through a couple times and it's very easy, which is point for in, in favor for me. And then it's not super, super hard to learn. Um, and it's oh, just, it's really it's easy. just fun. Really it's really easy. cute. Um, these are a huge plus. Well, I guess I can show it over here. Yeah. This is like one of my favorite things about it is these little tokens because they're just well, so Well, tell me what the game is. So by the way, yeah, it's called Ravine, a crafty and cooperative card game. It says it's for three to six players, ages 10 and up. Now, I adjusted that. Yeah, right? I was and gonna I'll, say. I'll touch on to the rules. Actually, I'll go ahead and touch onto it now. I backed this on Kickstarter and I just got it uh, a little, very recent. Like I said, today, yesterday, one of the days it came in. And it's, if you've ever played one of those survival games like Minecraft or The Forest or Green Hell, that's a new one on uh, whatever. This is kind of like a party version of one of those where you are plane crash survivors and you're trying to survive for so many days. And this is a real good game for, you know, a group setting or for couples. Now the box does say three to six players, but the game is basically your six hearts. So as you see, I've got multiple hearts laid out for each one of us, and each player is gonna start <clears throat> with six hearts. Now, what I've done is I've taken the third player and basically divided it between the two of us. And other than that, there's really no change to the game. It's just the extra hearts being accounted for. That's not a rule that is written into yes, the game. This is my it house is rule to make it a yeah. easier two player game. Because if you were just doing two players, with six hearts, I don't think you could win unless you got extremely, extremely uh, lucky. So by taking the third player and dividing in between the two of us, it works out very well. And oh, it is. It? Oh, the company that uh, uh, does it. It's Stellar Factory, I think it was, is the name of the company. Yeah, I think it's Stellar Factory. I'll put it down in the description. I don't see, it doesn't it say it on the box. Like I said, so. it's a Kickstarter game, so it's not- It's a very one nice box though. Like it's yeah. a nice game. I, I They're, they're very all from China, they're all nice boxes. It. Well, I love the card. I love it's so simple, but I love yes, how detailed it is Yes, it's got very simple graphics. Too. You guys will see that. I've got the camera pointing down here at the table and you guys can see it's very simplistic graphics for the cards, yeah, but, it's so but cool. it works. The basket is so cute. It's not just, you know what I mean? Like it yeah. still has enough detail and care in it. Um, and also before we get into it, um, the customer service from this company oh, is amazing. outstanding. She is correct on that. Uh, my box was actually missing the fire token. I'm just using an extra heart token and I'll touch on that when we get into the actual gameplay. Uh, but I contacted them and literally Hours after yeah, I messaged This was messaged yesterday. Them. I think he messaged them yeah. as soon as he figured it out. And they already contacted me back and got the uh, piece that I'm missing on the way to me. No issues, outstanding. I would definitely order from him again because that's the type of customer service I, I want and I expect. Yeah. The thing with me is I understand nothing's ever, it, it, nothing's perfect. Right, right? like leaving Things the good. fire out isn't like deal breaker. Yeah. It's how they handle it, it. It's all how they handle it because they can't help the fact that the guy who was packing the box in the, the factory forgot to put that piece in and a mistake happened. That's not the company's fault, but how the company handles it is, you know, on them. And the fact that they got back to me very swiftly and are getting it to me, outstanding. I definitely appreciate that. I've dealt with some uh, Kickstarters here recently who, I'm not gonna you know name names on this, but you guys have seen it in some of my other videos if you watch it, where there's literally no response 
And it's just you, you're guessing if you're you're getting what you're paying for. And I hate that because Kickstarter does well for smaller companies who can release stuff like this. That it's it's a fun game, but they might not have released it otherwise without Kickstarter. But people are going to lose their faith yeah, in backing games like that when other companies don't take and respond to their customers, don't send out the. Uh, the products that they say they're going to, or they're years late. We kind of heard a lot about Kickstarter yeah. at the WBC from a lot of the developers were talking about how it does help a lot of them be able to make games. Yeah. So, but let's get into this because we'll talk online about it. So uh, go ahead and explain. Very, very quick rules run down. I'm not gonna get overly winded on this because it's, it's like I said, a very simplistic game. Kind of could just start playing and you guys would figure it out from the play. You're gonna start, and I'm gonna explain it without the extra three hearts that I've given each one of us. Like I said, this is a house rule that I'm doing to account for the fact that it's generally supposed to be three and up, but it easily, easily translates into two players, no problem. What you're gonna do is you're gonna have six of these nice, nice wooden heart tokens each, and three of them are going to start face up, and then you're going to take the other three and you're gonna shuffle them like dice and then you drop them. And whatever side they come up on, like if this is what we were playing, I would have one extra heart face up and then I would have two face down. And that's to simulate the fact that you were in a plane crash you into this wounded. ravine and you got wounded. So the way I'm gonna do it with the two of us, since it's just the two of us and we need to take and make the uh, best of it since we're gonna have less materials, is we're each gonna start with five hearts face up instead of three, and then we're gonna shuffle four in our hands to determine how many hearts we're gonna have. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Let's see what we get. Ah. Oh, you got three down, that's bad. Oh, come on, flick, flick, flick. Yeah, look at that, that one. That one literally landed right side up. That. Uh, that one just landed on its side. Okay, so that shows us how many hearts we're gonna have. And you guys can see, she's got six, I've got seven hearts, and you can replenish the hearts. Is it this next? Now, we each get dealt, it's technically you're supposed these? to, yes. No, well, shuffle them up and just randomly deal this one. You're each gonna get one of these crafting cards, and that's not a big deal. You can just set one out so people know. And this just shows you the items that you can collect. And then oh, sorry. each person, each player, is gonna get randomly dealt one of these uh, wreckage cards. And these let you have some item that you captured from the uh, airplane. Hopefully, oh, well, you got a reusable one. Yeah, that's a good one. I was just one. looking at it and realized because okay. on the last game that we played, I didn't. The kids Careful. were still awake, <laughs> so, so I was kind of, let me talk. Go yeah. ahead. Um, the kids were still awake, so I was like listening and learning and I learned the game, but there were little tiny things like that the use, that it could be, that the effect could be reusable. I didn't know that. I thought they were all just a single thing, so no. that's cool. So mine is reusable. You got one excellent. I think there's something like nine of these and only two of them are reusable. Okay, the rest so mine are is use. protects one player from one weather event and it is reusable, so I guess per turn. Yeah. per event or whatever. That is outstanding. So that's a good one to have. I got a chocolate bar that restores three hearts when consumed. So it's a food item, it's a good food it's item. it's a single use, right? It's a single use, yeah. I didn't find an unlimited box of Hershey bars, unfortunately. Okay, so yeah. this, kind of, I'll just do this, kind of, so the piece that was missing was just a token to represent the fire. So I guess it's similar to these heart tokens, one side is the fire and the other side is the fire out. out. Yes. So that's, same thing, it, this is just being used in place of that until his arrives. So that's what this is for. So it's gonna start face down. If hard side is up, it means the fire's on. If hard side's down, that means the fire's out. out. So the game system itself is actually really simplistic. You're gonna start on the Put night. This over here so okay. I can see it too. Sorry. You're gonna start on the night and you're gonna take and shuffle up and deal so many night cards depending on uh, how difficult of a game that you want. We went with easy, it's eight cards, including the rescue card. So in the bottom of this deck, you, there are three cards that are shuffled together and one of those is the rescue card, the rest are just generic uh, So you shuffle cards. that card in and the bottom three. you guys can see there is a massive amount of night cards. So each one of your games is going to be different. And it can be up to six players, right? Yes. So yeah. And I actually do have the expansion that takes it up to nine players. I haven't opened the expansion. This is just the base game itself. So you're going to randomly have a selection of night cards and each turn, each night, you're going to draw it and it's going to have some type of adversary or bad condition that you're going to have to survive, whether it's weather effects or animal attacks 
or food shortages or whatever the case may be that could affect your heart supply. And that's where the game is all surrounding by is your hearts. You want to not run out of them because you die. And this deck is This is our forage deck. So right after your night step, you go to your health check step. And basically what that means is if you only have one heart left, you have to take a madness card, which could do something bad to you. I haven't thumbed through them. I want them to be one a surprise last, to me. One of the ones that we've seen, which we've only seen a couple of them, was that I thought everyone in, in the camp was a robot clone. And they had to prove their self to me that they were not a robot clone. And so everybody, like the other players had to name one of my immediate family members for the negative effect on that card to not yeah. happen to everyone. So it's things, it was something like that. That was just one that we saw, um, but that was, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, and then if you don't have one, then you can spend these to flip those to yeah, forage. That's what I was getting ready yeah. to do. After the health check step, you're gonna go to what's called your forage step. And your forage step is where you're basically gonna wager your hearts. And for each heart you spend, you can draw one forage card, which is this green deck here. And it's gonna have some random items on it, whether it's wood, stone, Some uh, are good, food. some are bad. Yeah, there are some bad ones in there. It could have an animal attack, which I had. So basically this is you representing you exerting yourself to go bring back supplies. And you wanna get food so you can replenish your hearts. Yeah, some food will actually allow you to turn some of these back over. Yes. You can share those with your friend or with the person because it's a cooperative game. Yeah, so you can um, pull your resources. I say we just start playing and they'll see the rest of it because you've explained pretty much. After you do that, you can take and build yeah. whatever you bring back. That's what this list is for. And, we can and then you just go our, on to your next night. So. We can combine our items together. Like if I have a wood, a fiber, and a stone, and he has a wood, a fiber, and a stone, we can combine them together to build a shelter that we both can use because it's yes. cooperative. So, um, and then this is just the baskets. Yeah, those but are just, these, no, those aren't just the baskets. That has the baskets and then the spears oh, spear. and then okay. the shelters that you that. can build. So all of those things were up here. Yeah, these and are the craftable each, items. They each have like, this says draw one additional card. So I could spend one heart and get two cards. Yeah. The spear the basket is a great you, thing to get. fends off one um, attack, but it breaks after you use it. This is a continuous thing. And then yep. the shelter, what does the shelter do? Protects, Protects up to three players, lasts indefinitely unless it is destroyed. So pretty simple. I say, let's jump into we're it. We've already into shuffled up. So, one last thing, you can spend one wood to create your fire, but your fire only lasts that night. So you would have to have wood for each. Uh, but sometimes night. we, in the last game, it did, it was crucial. Because, oh, yeah. So there's yeah, some things that saves. can happen that say if there's a fire, it prevents it. All right. And, so. and the game's quick. You guys will see it plays really quick. So you can play two or three games in 30 minutes, especially if you're just doing it two players like we are. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and start. We're all set up. Our fire's out. We've rolled for our hearts. Now, the first thing that we do is we're going to draw ourselves our first night card and see what happens. We have Great. the owl. Go ahead. An owl takes roost over your camp, and for some reason, everyone feels a lot better. All players recover one heart. Yeah, we're so recovering. We'll that. Uh, just put it over there. I'm trying to keep the space clear All so right, they I'll can stick see it us. Over here. Okay. All right. Um, so perfect. I get a heart now. This is the point where we get to spend hearts to get cards. And you can spend up to three hearts to draw three cards or up to four cards if you have a basket. I find the best is to try to get yourself a basket early on if possible, so you can just spend one heart to get two cards each round. Okay, two. You, you're spending two? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and spend two myself and grab two cards. So this is us exerting ourselves That's and we're going back. Card. Now we're coming back and we're pulling our resources. I got oh, a wow. wood and a stone. Good. Well, I didn't get bad, but this one's funny. So this is where, like, if it has these hearts, that means I get to recover. So I get my two right back. Well, can I have one? You can have one. It's not like you really Here, just need do one. it like this way. So they're all uniform. You but I mean, why would you take it? I got it. Well, then you take it. It's fine. Because I thought you had one more than I did. No, so I'll, put, I'll just go right, that there. So. And then this one's funny. Just missed catching that seagull. So nothing happens. <laughs> just hold it up so they can see it. Nothing happens, but it could have been a food. <laughs> now, we have a choice to make, though, because I have a wood and a stone. So I can, can either a build spear. a spear or a fire. Or I can light our fire. I don't know which one to go with. I'm kind of thinking we light the fire because yeah. the fire tends to... Uh, work best for us. I agree. Okay, so I'm going to spend 
a uh, wood here. Put that in my little discard pile. And now our fire is lit. And our fire's lit. And now we're back around to the next night phase. It's just that simple. That's the game. Yeah, super easy. Let's go on. All right, the cave. Wandering home at sunset, you find it. Home sweet hole in the wall. Permanent shelter for all players. Yeah! <laughs> I'm serious. I, I promise, guys, I shuffled the hell out of this thing. I did not. So that means we get Oh to get my this God, card I out. cannot believe that happened. Uh, yeah, we'll take. Out, right? Yeah, we'll take this just to remind us that we have permanent shelter. But basically, this is the cave is given a shelter. I didn't even know that card was oh, in there. Oh, so we just hold on to this then. Yeah, the okay. cave is our shelter, so we never have to worry about uh, shelter again. All right, so, so the night's over, so our fire goes out again. Now we're I, back to wagering hearts. I will do. Uh, I'm gonna do two. Yeah, same. Because I've got three that I can get back from my card. Oh, 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 oh did no, you get no, some no, bad? No. Oh, right. I got a stone. I got a flavor. stone. Okay, oh, so we got a bunch of stone. We have what three stone? A we wood got and a three. Fiber. Two no, stone the wood, wood was spent. Oh, so we have two stone and a fiber. Yeah, so I've got two stones and a fiber, but I'm not getting any food. Yeah, we'll save those. Um, and I got mushrooms. Cute little Again? psychotropic. Hold it up so they can see it. Mushrooms. Draw a madness card and follow the. No! Oh, she's oh she ate trippy mushrooms. I did that last game too. No, you ate bad poisonous mushrooms. Oh. Here, hold it up okay. so they can see. I was just looking, hun. The hunger. Donner, party of one. Your table is ready. Effect. Steal one heart token from another player and add it to your own. Recovery. Upon completion of task. What does that mean? Uh, I just it means it some madnesses can be recovered from. You can't recover from it. So, she has an extra heart now. She now has ten hearts and I have eight. So... Both oh, well, kind of sucky, but okay. uh, I'm going to go ahead and spend my one use item to take and get three hearts back because I'm not finding enough food. I so I've done that just yet. Well, but, I mean, I'm going okay. to top myself off. All right. Back now, to the night. We, can't uh, build yeah, anything, we, right? we I don't know why we can't use fiber to build a, a fire. <laughs> All right. Or a basket. All right. All right. The fog. A blanket of thick, misty gloom envelops the camp. But at least it's a blanket, right? No, no re repercussions. I promise nice. you, the game is not this easy. I no, we, we have gotten like such easy time. cards. Yeah, we got obliterated last time. Do we I, each got down to one heart. So this is. Do I have the token that I take from you? Is it face up or down? Because it doesn't say on there. I don't know. Uh, it, it was says, face down when I gave it to you. One heart token from another player and add it to your own. I guess we'll just leave it down. Okay. All right, because it's been too easy of a game anyway. So. All right, so let's take and forge again. I'm going to do two myself. You draw first this time because I've been drawing first and getting All right, I've cards. got two. You go ahead. What did you get? Uh, okay, okay, I can go with this. So I get food. I got a grub, which I'll take and use for... Stone. Here, go ahead and... Uh, Put that in that little discard, so that'll flip that back over, and All I right. got a wood. So now we have we've got four stones, a wood, and a fiber. Uh, a wood and a stone. We can do the spear. I want to get that. Want if basket. we get one more basket or one more fiber, we'll be all right. So I say we hold out because we've got shelter. All right, that's fine. So let's hold out, try to get the basket because that okay. the basket's really. So now really we're back good. to the night. Yes, we're back to the night. All right, let's see what happens. Rain. A oh. cold shower isn't as refreshing refreshing as you thought it would be. Unsheltered players lose one heart. We're no sheltered fire though. tomorrow night, so we cannot have a fire. All right, so leave this right here, so we'll remember one more turn. We can't start our fire. Okay. All right, <clears throat> we're wagering hearts again. Oh, you're getting low. Yeah. All right, I'm wagering two. No! I'm so sick Stop of getting yelling. This Sorry. I got stone. All right, I got mushroom again, but I got this. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip two of those over. And which one? Look ahead at the next two Hold night cards. Oh, it says mysteriously magical mushroom. So these are not bad. Look ahead at the next two night cards. Oh. This is horrible. I've got all the, uh... okay, so what? What's coming? What do Rain we have to expect? next. You're starting to think the sky hates you. Unsheltered players lose a heart. And then the wind. It ha uh, unsheltered players lose a heart. So we're good. Okay, so we're good because we got permanent shelter. I'm telling you, it's normally not this easy. We got obliterated. So we just happened to get lucky that the easier cards were the ones that we drew. Because do pay attention. There are a buttload yeah. of these uh, night cards. Okay. okay, so we just did our night, right? No, we did not. I just looked at it. 
We, we I foraged. That. We foraged. So, so now we're doing the night. So, rain. Okay. So this one and again, will go away. So, and we're still not going to be able to make fire for another turn. So, oh well, we're going to have to forage again. And you are getting low on hearts, baby. You are getting low on hearts. You want me to go first? You throw one and then me and then. Okay, I'll take one. You take one. I'll take one. Come on. Oh, right. No, I need fiber. I got a fiber. I got a okay, fiber. Okay, right, we can make one it. basket. I got minnows, so I get two back. Okay, so and here is fiber. fiber and wood. Ooh, and I have two wood. Okay, so which one of us gets the basket? What is it? Basket is. Here, I'm going to make a, a spear too since I have that. Okay. So we'll make a, a spear and a. Uh, a, a basket. Okay, take so you can one. have the basket and I'll take the spear since I'm the guy. Okay. Someone's gonna be like, oh, you said the right. bastard. That's okay. Okay, so now since she's got the basket, she can take and draw uh, the next turn. I can put, I yes. can pay one and draw two. Yeah, she can okay. pay one heart to draw two so and we'll my little flimsy spear can defend us against an animal attack or something like that because there are animals in here that will attack you in the foraging depth. So we're back tonight. And so we didn't you say that, that was going to be rain no again? No wind. And the wind is so just hurting people that are unsheltered. through the trees and chills you to your very mar marrow. Unsheltered players lose one heart. All fiber is lost. Ooh, good thing you spent it. Oh, damn. I didn't even read that part. If we would have lost our fiber, it would have been so... Oh, I'm glad that I okay. didn't see that. But okay, so we're good. Worked out. Okay. Um, Back to this. I'm getting I'm low on hearts. One and draw two because I have the basket. I'm just going to spend one this time and draw one. And I got more wood. All right. Do you have any fiber? No. <laughs> Go fish. Go fish. Yeah. No problem. I, I got a wood and a fiber. I can. So. I can make a, I have two another. Stone. I can either light the, the fire or I can make another spear. Well, I say we try to say that to make the basket, right? So we've only got we two need... cards left in the night. Oh yeah. Whatever so. you think. I mean, I don't really think we need to wear. I think we're good. Yeah, we we've kind of blown we'll this hang one on away. To it. Well, here I'll light our fire. All right, light the fire. Okay. So put that over there. Our fire's lit. All right. But I'm getting low on hearts. The rescue. And there you you've go. Just like that, found. we yeah. have been rescued. We survived the island. I had three hearts left. She had do three hearts left. Do you want to do one more to show them that it's not always this easy, or do you want to just yeah. draw here? We'll take and just draw uh, more randoms. And since this forage deck is so big, I don't even need to take and draw. Yeah, just more cards. Me here, just set that there, or basket there. We're gonna play one more quick one for you guys since the game is so quick. Uh, we'll take this rescue card. We'll put this back over here. So now we should have no good night cards. <laughs> okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven oh, okay. night cards. All right, I'll just put that one over there. And we'll draw ourselves a couple of new items that we haven't had previously. Here, take these two and shuffle them together with the rescue and then put them on the bottom. And I'll probably cut this out and we'll see. But you guys can see how thick this forage deck is. So we barely burn through like that much of the forage deck. So I'm not even bothering to shuffle it. I'm just putting the ones we grabbed there on the bottom, placing that there and we're good to go. So Flip you how many up? Five. And again, I'm, I'm saying it every time just to make sure people This is just keep it in our mind. own modification of it. Yes, this is the Gimpy modification for two player game. Okay. I'll take it. All right, so how many did you get? Two, actually. Two? All right, let me grab this and shake them up. Come on. Come on. Big money, big money. No way, me. Oh, way, me. <laughs> I only got one face up and three face down. All right. So All right, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. wait, where did we put the map? Draw yourself one card. I left the ones we had out, so these are going to be two new ones. I'll tell you this one. Ooh, I got a reusable one again. Again, you got the only two reusables. <laughs> Protects one player from an animal or human attack. Reusable. This is so she taser. got a taser. I got an adrenaline syringe. Completely restores hearts for one player when used. Oh wow! So that's a big that. one. That's Down outstanding. Low, but I would hang on yeah. to that and not spend it so quick like oh, we did no. last time. And the last one only gave me three, so I used it when I was down like five okay. hearts. All right, okay. let's start. So first night, let's do it. Heavy rain, soaked is the new damp. Unsheltered players lose two hearts. No fire tomorrow night. Ooh, uh, we've got no shelter. That's not, nothing's gonna work. Damn. Yeah. Okay, now you guys can see we're starting off bad here right, because I am down to four hearts. Uh, I'll oh, do two. Okay, 
All right, so uh, this is what I got. One, I got two. a fiber, which we'll hang on to. And this. Uh, oh, I got something interesting. Did you get some hearts? Yeah. Because I'm down to two. Can I get one of those? Um, yeah. Okay, so I've got three and she's got one. You really don't want to get to one. Bone pile, these say seemingly useless, but there's a thing in the rule book. If you get four of these, uh, I think you can bring dead players back to life or something like that. So it's actually uh, an item. You're trying to collect four. stone? Oh, a wood and a stone. Just yeah, a spear and a wood, wood two uh, fiber. Yeah, we've got bone pile. I'm out of fiber, so. so that's good. All right. On uh, to the night. On to the night. This, oof, I'm the gonna... mountain, a massive wave of rocks, Sorry. mud and debris storms down the mountain and into camp. Uninvited, no less. All players lose two hearts. Any shelter is destroyed. Oh, no. We are getting obliterated here. All right. I'm going to have to go ahead and pop, pop my adrenaline syringe because You're I'm down to one. one heart. Otherwise, I will be dying and taking a madness test. She's one heart away from taking a madness test as well. All right. Uh, are you just going to wager one? Yeah, I'm going to have to. I'll do... I'll do the full three oh, to I try to get us some pile. items. All right, she's got a bone pile. I'll take one, two, three. Uh, all right, I got another stone and- Oh, I can take those two hearts, right? Here, you can have all three. Oh, it's three hearts? Because you're already full up. You're supposed no. to be full up. I drew like... through three items. Oh, you just burnt through, sorry, yeah. okay. So I gave her those. Thank you. Uh, can we build anything? No. Stone, stone isn't going to do anything. Oh, we can't build anything. This All is right, bad. Next night, Another night card. The raccoons. Rabies never looked so cute. Give up one food card or lose one heart. Fire cancels this event. Um, I have, have a fire. reusable animal attack. Protects one oh, player. There you go. So I can protect one of us uh, or lose one heart. I think that just stops them. Yeah, because this is protect, a but it says protects one player, and that's raccoon. So it's attacking both of us. So I'll just lose one. No, you should lose mm -hmm. one because you have more. Okay. And well, then I'll lose a heart. Though. Fire cancel, so we didn't have fire. Okay. All right. So now we're wagering hearts again. I'll do two. I'll do two myself. One. No. One. She one. always likes to switch it up on me. Okay. I uh, just got. I got wood. All right. So you're getting a couple of hearts back. I'm getting a heart back from the food and I'm trying to decide, should we build a spear or should we build fire? I'm thinking fire. Yeah, go ahead and do the fire. I'm okay. gonna save my fiber for a basket. Okay, so we're flicking our fire on, but we're both down to four hearts and I've already burned my adrenaline. Okay. Be quiet, you stare into the darkness, but tonight nothing stares back. It is quiet and in a way beautiful. No repercussions tonight. Okay, so nothing big to worry right. about, but we're getting Two. low on food. We're getting so exhausted and skinny. Ooh, okay, I have a wood. Uh, I got and a wood. I got a food. Okay. So we have. Well, we can build a wood ourselves. and two fiber. We can get a basket. Somebody We've got two fiber. Basket. Where's the two fiber? I've only got stone. Oh, we have two wood and a fiber, not two yeah. fiber and a wood. Yeah. So we can build the fire for tonight right. and then try to build the basket later. All right here, wood. So fire stays on. Did I already? I don't flip. think you did. I don't I think you did. Okay, I'll flip one. But he'll, if he did when he's editing this and he sees that he did, then he'll just put up there, you know, oops. <laughs> my, you guys know my memory's crap. Yeah, I didn't All pay attention. Okay. All right. Next night, the night. If you weren't on the brink of starvation, you might call this a nice night for camping. No repercussions nah, tonight. Ah, yay. All right, nothing okay. bad. Um, Our fire's back out since we're back down to the I'm day. Do two. And again, Wait. this is right here is technically where you do your hunger check but we're good. If I do two, does that mean I have to draw madness this time or only if it's next time? Next time. Okay, so I'll do two. I'll do two myself. One. Okay. Okay, I think we might know. Uh, you aren't able to use your arms until the next day. I got a stone and So a I can't build anything. I All right, so that'll go one. there. Um, we need another fiber. You don't have here. any fiber? Flip over one of your hearts. I'll share my wild plum with you. Thank you. Uh, no, I, I don't have it. I've got wood. We can build a Should fire, build? though. Yeah, I'll just do the fire. Yeah. Just in case. Okay. All right. And next night, next night, the birds. Your supplies are going missing and large black feathers are found in their place. All players lose one forage card. Uh -huh, that's no big deal. I can just give up one of these stones. I'll give up the bone pile. Well, if you give up the bone pile, there's no way we'll ever build the well, complete Well, we're almost bone pile. out. All right. We'll give up the bone pile. Then. Okay. All right. 
So there we go. Oh wait, we're back to the foraging now, yep. right? And again, we would do our hunger check now, but we're both good. I've got three, she's got two. Mm. So I'll wager two, she's wagering one. I got a wood. Oh, time out. You can wager your very last heart to go out foraging, but if you don't get food, you die. Yeah. So just an FYI. My two cards. Ooh, okay, I got three food. Please total. Give me at least one. We're both down to one. Here, you take one, I'll take two. Okay. Keeping ourselves in the game. Hold up, did we build anything? Uh you got a wood, right? Yeah. Let's let's start that fire. I was flipping it back over to represent that it. All right, so we're out. starting our fire. All right. Do that night card. Yay! Rescue! Yes. We made it again! Yay! Up high. All right. What was that last so night card? That was card? a little hard. Ooh. The, the wood, next one, the wolves. the wolves. They came to welcome you to the neighborhood, but not leaving without dinner. All players lose two hearts. Fire effects reduce this by one. So, ooh. We got close. I cannot believe we won this twice. Now, we were playing on easy, which is only eight cards. Yeah. Uh, I think it goes up. It's like... 12 or 16 for medium and then maybe like 20 for hard i forget which but you guys can see this would be a lot of fun and you're not going to build something like shelter on an easy game when you don't have uh as many uh times to go out foraging because you guys can see it can take a while to build up the supplies that you need to build some of the uh the higher level stuff uh hand me that other bag the box that's in there would you bet no right here the box the expansion pack oh i didn't see there was a box under there oh there yeah. you go sorry right here is the expansion that i got with the game this is the spirits expansion which cards go where and uh i'll put it up in a sec wait till we're done with the video baby uh, the spirit expansion, and this says prepare to face the jungle of the spirits of the ravine. In this expansion, some players take on the role of spirits that haunt the island, allowing, uh, allowing Ooh, you to play Halloween. with yes. up to nine people. Will they help you or torment you? Only the spirits know as you fight to survive through the chaos of day and night. So, so I haven't even tried these that out. If you have nine, we're never going to have nine people to play that, so we'll never be able to use that. Well, this says for five to nine players, so this would be... I think this adds opposition. So you might have like three or four people playing well, to survive and then one or two. Hopefully we can find people that will play with us and we can try that out, you know. But before we wrap this up and pack it up, since this is a games for you and her, we were going to just give our little kind of feedback on what we think about it so far since we've played it a few times now. I like it. I personally, yeah, I love it. I love these simple games. It's just a card game, but it's... It's exciting. It's almost like the dice game that we showed you guys. Did you ever upload that? The Escape? Yeah. From Zombie Escape. City? Did you or the Temple? The... Yeah, we uploaded that. Okay, I never saw it. I'll have to check it out. Anyway, it's like that one. It's very exciting because you, like, we get loud and we're like, oh, oh no, we got this. Or, oh yeah, we got this. And it's, you know, time's running out. And yeah, we played it on easy, so I'm sure it only gets more intense. But I think that it's fun because it is very quick. I mean... We played two rounds and probably what 30, 30 40, 40 minutes. minutes. Yeah. yeah, something like so that. So I definitely say this is a definite game for you and her. Probably would be more fun with more people, but we have two kids. Um and so Well, yeah. they'll be playmates when they get older. Yeah. Yeah, we're we're growing our own farm of of board game players, you know, yeah. working on that slowly but surely. Um I do think, like I said, we made the adjustments since it we're just the two of us playing by giving us the extra hearts. I think it would be a little more intense with three or four players with each one only having six hearts. That way, each heart that you're spending just feels that much more intense of what you're having to risk to try to get food and supplies and everything for the game. <clears throat> I like it. It's a simple game. It. Are you making faces at me? No, I was just making like She's a, making faces at no, me. No, I was going like, like I was making no. a silly cute face. You're, you're blowing even. me kisses? Yeah. Oh, what are you so sweet? I wasn't being mean like in her. No, I'm video. just picking at you. By the way, if you haven't seen our haunted video, go check it out because it's funny. He scares the poop out of me in it without meaning to. And even as I was watching it back after he wow. edited it, it still scared me. So it was funny. But anyways, definitely, definitely give this to Gimpy's gal thumbs up for the games for you and her. Oh. But this is more than you and her. This is like a group of people. This would be a fun like game night. Yeah you know, date night kind of game to play with a bunch of friends. I will say that this game, uh, like I said, I got it on Kickstarter. I don't know if the guy's going to retail with it or not. So keep your eyes peeled if it's going into a local game store or not. If it's not, I know there will be copies on uh, eBay or I think Game Steward. I think Do you have like you a contact buy. information for the people so that they, if someone wants to know if it's ever going to come, they can reach I'll them. put down the, the website in the description. 
but if you are interested in the game, it is a fun little survival game. And by the game. way, hashtag yeah. not sponsored. We're never sponsored. When we give our reviews, it's our reviews that we paid for. And like he bought this, yeah. he backed this on Kickstarter. So our, our comments on this are not biased. They, I truly did thoroughly enjoy this. You can ask him. I don't often suggest to play more <clears> than one round. Oftentimes no, he'll beg me and beg me and beg me to play. And I'll say, fine, I'll play. And I'll play one round. I'm like, okay, that was fun. We'll play again another time. And then we never do, or we do, but it's a year later. But this one, I was like, hey, let's play again. You want to do it again? So definitely, definitely like it. Gibby always wants to do it again. <sighs> Is anybody else bored <laughs> with the sexual innuendos? Because I sure am. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go be a force. Any other final comments, baby? Nope. So we will see you guys. Um, yeah, probably here in about It'll a month. probably be yeah, sometime in December because next month is crazy and we're moving literally a week from today. So wish us luck. Check out the Facebook page and the Instagram for all details. Make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already and share because we really do enjoy doing this, but we only like to do it if we know that you guys enjoy it too. So let us know what you think and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.